Declan, bro. Say hi to Declan, people. You know, like that, bro. He's taking you back where he belongs. Mid-table. That's where he belongs. Declan's taking you back to where he's comfortable, bro. In dog fights, bro. Man, man in a dog fight with Fulham in the rain, cuz. You know what I'm saying? Just pick up Arteta, though, you know, because he actually put, like, a decent little thing together and then he ruined it. But, do you know what I mean? He done a little, little tweak in the here and there and that. Do you know what I'm saying? Like, he took you as far as he could take you. He made you look better than you were. Do you know what I'm saying? And that's the manager's job is to make the players look better than they are. But sooner or later, the chickens come home to roost, blood, and they're roosting. Roost, roost, baby. You get me? They're roosting, you pussies. Are you Arteta's feeling the pressure? Feeling the pressure, you know? Man said Jesus in the wilderness and that. Nah, man dropped Zinchenko from the whole squad. Either Arteta, yeah, has grown... He's grown a backbone finally, or he might just be extremely rattled. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> man said that Pep was playing 4D chess, you know, man. He gave him them players for him to die, you know. That's crazy, you know. Oh, Isaka looks offside. He looks offside, you know. Unless unless there's something I missed. If that if he's not offside, yeah, that is one of that's one of the easiest goals he'll ever score. Look. Man just let Martinelli literally run, yeah, from his own half. Like, no one put in a tackle or nothing. Yeah, bro, back on his GA form, that's it. Man said, what does Saka need to do to become the player Arsenal fans think he is? Like, there's nothing he can do. There's nothing he can do. Like, it's all right, man. Do you know what I'm saying? He's a decent footballer, but he's mad overrated. He's probably one of the most overrated players in the league. Because people actually think he's really, really good. And, and he's just he's just all right, like. Do you know what I mean? 100%. You see, when you see the way that Fulham are building and they're playing out, and this is what I'm saying. Like, a style of play has got nothing to do with the players, bro. And this is the point that I was trying to make on Mandem Talk yesterday. Like, style of play is down to the basic template that the manager puts out there. This has got nothing to do with the players. Do you know what I'm saying? Like, the level of quality... In, in the style, yeah, is going to be determined on individual players. But the actual frame of what they're trying to do is different. I'm not saying Rice having a bit of a bad patch. I, I don't think Rice is having a bad patch, you know. I just think that the, the um, initial euphoria of him coming to the club has died down. And now you're just seeing what kind of player he is. Do you know what I'm saying? He's just a spit and sawdust like works hard midfielder that's what he's going to give you he's just going to give you passion do you know what i'm saying other than that he's just average that's just all it is i don't think he's going through a bad patch at all i think you're just seeing who he is hey bro hey saka loves a little roll around in it he loves a little roll around one touch and he's rolling bro what a ball oh my days raul you know raul you know Hey, yo, it's crazy, you know. It's crazy, you know. What a finish, bro. Hey, bomba. What a finish. Hey, Saka got chiefed up, bro. He got caught in transition. You know, like that. It's mad, bro. Saka been eating them sandwiches, bro. You see, he ain't been on the hard food no more, you know. I see man's got the little ginger here like Rashford, bro. Now, nah, he might be bunny hopping, you know. I swear down, on the sly fam, you get me? Little ham sandwich and that, bro. Because, bro, listen. If man's eating the hard food, you don't get moved to like that. I'm sorry, blood. You just don't. Them things don't run. It's crazy. What a finish. Bro, he got moved to. He got moved to. <laughs> he got moved to. Nah, this is crazy. Nah, bro. He must be bunny hopping on the slide, bro. You know what I'm saying? Fish fingers and ham sandwiches and that. A little pat lunch and that. Man got a little pat lunch before the game and that. No hard food, blood. Trust me. That's crazy. <laughs> <laughs> oh, 
Oi, man said 1-1. One, one. Hey, bro, listen. Fulham have been well worth it, bruv. Bro, the f listen. You man need to understand, yeah? Arteta said, yeah, that he had, he had to work bare hard to get his wife, yeah? Because even though he had money, she still wasn't feeling, man. You get me? And then when you see the little moist GQ magazine cover, yeah? Bro, listen. Gal don't like these soft brothers, but he's got money. So, it gets like that. No way. Is that on side? No way, no way, no way. No way. No way. No way. Is it on? Is it on? Is it on? Ooh, that looks tight. That looks tight, bro. I can't even celebrate yet. Oh, it came off an Arsenal player. Oi! Hey! Hey! My boy reading that. Hey, what are you man telling me? Hey, big up Arsenal and that. You know what I'm saying? Big up Arsenal and that. Yay! Arsenal, Arsenal. Osado, you pussies. Hey, bruv, hold that, man. You know what I'm saying? Come on, Fulham. Come on, you lily whites. You know what I mean? My fucking club. You know what I mean? Come on, lads. Do you know what I mean? Let's have it. Ah. Come on, Fulham. You know what I mean? Hey, come on, Fulham. You fucking lily whites. Come on, boys. Come on, boys. Trust me, dog. We talking about Alright lads That's it now Low block Where's Zane bruv Zane where you at bruv Low block fam 30 minutes and that What are you saying Ultra defence and that <laughs> <laughs> Hey Arsenal You gotta win the league mate You gotta win the league Come on boys Man, man gonna get a Willian 3 1 on the on the counter attack, you know, bro. This is where Declan's gotta turn up now, bro. 110 millions on that. Go on, Declan. <laughs> man said Sane Saka back to his best, you know. Oi, who's that? Oi, oi, Rice giving it away. Oi, nah, bro. Man like Declan Spice and that. Hey, he skunked, read boy. What's the man talking about? He skunked. What's the man. Playing them passes there, fam. What's the song, bruv? You man got Saka and Emil Smith Rowe and that, yeah. Mad thing. Hayland, bruv. Man said hailstones. You get me? Extreme weather. Extreme weather at the Emirates. You know, like that. Extreme weather. Trust me, bruv. Hailstones in your blood clot. What are you talking about? Saka getting had up, bro. <laughs> hey bro Nah Man's taking Saka for a walk blood Nah Man getting dog walked in that <laughs> Man getting dog walked bruv This is crazy Hey bro City gonna go on that On that 8 match 8 match unbeaten streak now Watch Man City gonna go on that mad run now in January That's what they always do Turn of the year you know and now the Bruins back as well, fam. It's peak. I can't lie, it's peak. Yes, Aaron, blood. Come on, bro. I see you. Bruv, KDB and Erling is back as well, you know. City about to go on the mad thing. Hey, Arteta out of ideas, man. Just threw everyone on there, bruv. Threw everyone on. Man said Trossard and, and Gabriel Jesus. Come on, boys. Oi, 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 my guy, the preseason pillow, bruv. Hey, what are you telling me? Bro, listen, you could see this, you could see the lines of play that Fulham that Fulham had. You could see the lines of play all the way from their centre back, the way their centre back steps out with the ball. You could see all the lines. You could see how they were trying to pass into certain channels and stuff like that. Bro, that, that's from very, very, very good coaching. This is what this is from. And this is why, yeah, I refute claims, yeah, that Man United can't play better football with the players that they have. 
I, ref I refute those claims, bro. Because look at what Fulham are doing, bro, with rejects, bro. Willian's a reject. Pereira's a reject. Flipping Awobi's a reject. These men are all rejects, bro. And they're balling. Mr. Rance, don't underestimate the Arsenal. We'll be back. At least we play entertaining football. Plus, we are invincible. The football's trash, mate. I'm sorry. I'm sorry, Zane. The football's rubbish. Do you know what I mean? But happy new year, fella. Do you know what I mean? <laughs> That's the worst game I've ever seen Rice play. Hey, no, it gets better, bro. This is what he does every week, you know. This is what he does every week, you know. But because he was at West Ham, man used to think that it was bare passionable, pa um, fashionable because they were fighting for their life. Every game, blood. That's all it is, bro. He's a struggle player, just like Harry Maguire. These men are struggle ballers, bro. When they're in struggling teams, yeah, they look good, fam. Do you know what I mean? Because they run around. Now, I told you, man, about the struggle the struggle girlfriend, bro. You know them ones, when you're broke and you ain't got nothing to offer, you just need a thing that's going to hold you down, bro, and make you your, your pot noodles and that. Do you know what I'm saying? But then, bro, as soon as you get your shit together and you got money, bro, you can't be seen on road with her no more. You have to upgrade that still. You're just a struggle baller. That's what it is. Certain men are just, just there for the struggle, bro. They're not there for the good times. You get me? Now, bro, I didn't see... There was no tactical change from Arsenal, you know. You just dashed Jesus on and Trossard. A man just vibing it, bro. Like, Fulham are actually cooking you, you know. Like, Fulham are actually outplaying Arsenal. It's not like it's a little sucker punch or something like that. They've been the better side from the first whistle. Even when they were 1-0 down, they were the better team. Hey, that's a foul, no? Is that not a red card? Reverie! What are you talking about? That's a red red! And they're managing the game well, like, letting the ball go out of play, like, them men are really, they're doing their thing. And you know what it is, yeah? You see teams like Fulham, you see when you put together a squad of players that are mature, they're mature and they're tactically astute, yeah? They don't have to be the best technically, yeah? But they can, they can pick up information well, yeah? Because you look at all these players, bro. They, like, my man Raul was at Wolves. Andreas at Man United. Awobi at Arsenal. Willian's been all over the place. Chelsea, Arsenal. Like, do you know what I mean? These are these are men that got know-how, bruv. Do you know what I'm saying? They're just players that have got know-how. And when you got players that have know-how, bro, like, the way they're managing this game as well and running down the clock... Do you know what I mean? So yeah, exactly. Polina was at, at Sport in Lisbon, bro. Like they know how to they know how to manage a game. They're managing this game very well. And this is what Aston Villa never done against us. I can't believe Aston Villa let us beat them from 2-0 up. Hey! Oh dear! Oh dear! You know what I'm saying? Paella Bulis! He does it again, bruv! Man bottled the Christmas championship, bruv. How can you bottle the Christmas Premier League, yeah? Before New Year's Day, fam. So man done. Bro, them Arsenal man at 1-0, they were saying they were top of the league and that. <laughs> hey, you man, the process ain't processing. Trust it though, you get me? Process ain't processing. Jeez, the Paella Pulis. Man talking about Spicy Brendan. Crazy in the dunya. Man like rice, you know. Man like rice, bro. Spice. That's what he is, fam. Dead food. Man told man about rice, bro. Man told man about that dead baller. Then man said that he was going to be the difference, you know. Man was going to be the difference, fam. Listen. It's crazy, fam. Side dish you read by. Yeah, bro. This is mad, you know. I can't even lie, bro. Oh, I tell you, you know. Man said he conquered his wife. He couldn't conquer the mighty lily whites, you pussy. What are you telling me? Look at, boy, look at him and as you know, lipsing up his woman on the TV and that. That's what man's doing. That better be his wife anyway, blood. Might be the side thing. He didn't know the camera was there. I hear it. Man like Raul and that. We love to see it. Look at all the man them. Hey. No way. That's funny. A Wobi dancing on your grave and that. It's crazy. How your ex-player cutting shapes on you like that? So what it is? Nah. Uh, nah, these man got moved to. I can't even lie. Bro, you got smoke from start to finish as well. If you're an Arsenal fan, you can't even be upset, bruv. You got smoked from start to finish, bruv. 
Like, bro, there was no point in this game that Arsenal were on top, bro. You weren't on top at any point in this game, you know. Like, no point. 96 minutes, yeah, of pure domination. That's what it was. That's crazy. Your manager tried everything. He dropped Gabriel Jesus. Didn't work. Man threw on Jesus and Trossard. He hooked Havertz, bro. Didn't work. There's nothing he could do that worked, bro. Nothing he could do that could work, bro. Didn't change the system. Man just trying to move players about, bro. He got out that dick, bruv. You get me? Oh, get her out. Free up the guys and that. Man like Martin Kelly, you know. But Kyle Milner. Trust me, dog. MSN. Gunman, you know. Basmati Bakayoko, fam. Yo, it's been emotional, you know. It's been emotional, fam. Man said the ketchup cante and that. You know what I'm saying? Heinz and that. Basmati. Horrible, man. Horrible, horrible, horrible footballers, bruv. You, man, really got gassed, you know. 110 millions, bro. Millions and millions, bro. Declan, bro. Say hi to Declan, people. You know, like that, bro. He's taking you back where he belongs. Mid-table. That's where he belongs. Declan's taking you back to where he's comfortable, bro. In dogfights, bro. Man, man in a dogfight with Fulham in the rain, cuz. You know what I'm saying? Just like the old days. Just like the old days. Fuck you, know. It's mad for Arsenal, you know. They went from having the baddest team here to having the most meaty team overnight, you know, bro. Like, bro, look at this lineup. Man said Havertz, Rice, Erdegaard, Martinelli, Nketi, Saka. That team stinks. Bro. It's really rubbish, you know. <laughs> it's really rubbish. And then Jesus to come off the bench. Nah. It stinks. <laughs> like these men had bare chests at the start of the season, you know. That team is actually crap. You know when you look at it, yeah? Bro, when you look at it properly, it's rubbish, bruv. Like, it's real rubbish. Oh, the God. Hey, big up Arteta, though, you know, because... He actually put like a decent little thing together and then he ruined it. But, do you know what I mean? He done a little, little tweak in it here and there and that. Do you know what I'm saying? Like, he took you as far as he could take you. He made you look better than you were. Do you know what I'm saying? And that's the manager's job is to make the players look better than they are. But sooner or later, the chickens come home to roost, blood, and they're roosting. Roost, roost, baby. You get me? They're roosting, you pussies. It was all good just a week ago, blood. When you man top of the league, a week ago, now you man a fourth, blood. 